Hey folks, Bill Gallagher here for another Daily Dose of DNT. We're off to a rough start in this league. Um, eh. Not excited about this hand. Probably not good, bad enough to go back. Like we get a turn two Thalia on the play. That's pretty good. We have turn three Karakas to protect it. Um, but you, you just never really want to see this batter skull in your opening hand. This is reanimator and they can't just like fully go off on turn one. We're actually in alright shape. Never mind. Oh, ant turn one? Nope, it is it is reanimator just playing duress. Now, it's super unfortunate that they got to see your hand because they can pick a non-legendary target if they want. Nope, they're just going for the grizzle brand still. Um, they're going down to four life to do this though, and I have an answer to this grizzle brand. Uh, yeah, we're potentially just coming out ahead here because my opponent did 16 to themselves on turn 1. Uh, opponent's play pattern is a little questionable here. They could have kept one more card by doing that on their turn, they could have not discarded the animate dead that they discarded. Um, so that, that feels sloppy to me. All right, so we let the exhume resolve before bouncing so they don't have the opportunity to put in a grizzle brand if they so desire. Then this will target the Caracas. I'll bounce this. My Caracas is gone. I'll play Athalia. I'm sorry these displays are not the best against Ashen Rider, by the way. Pretty okay against Grizzle Brand, though. Play out the Eldrazi Displacer, kind of give myself options to win my win the game immediately if my opponent makes some poor choices and like draws seven cards with Grizzlebrand. A uh, small error that I did, I should have played Plains over Rishabenport on my turn to not show that I had the colorless for Eldrazi Displacer. Uh, 
Uh, so now I can blink down one of those and die. I can attack with my opponent to three. All right, uh, not quite getting there this game. All right, so I'll probably want Chalice's Surgical Path Rest in Peace, probably not Council's Judgment. I think that's what I'm doing. Chalice, Path, Surgical, Rip, a Recruiter if I'm playing an extra in the board. I'm not, I might, I might play this Mangara. You know, it's kind of like Palace Jailer in that it is like technically removal for these things. Um, I'll probably board out my entire Stoneforge Mystic package as a starting point. So that gives me seven of these cards. Reanimator is one of the few matchups where you board in like almost your entire sideboard. Um, that's a little bit unusual. I'll probably junk two of my Giver of Runes, maybe the third. I'll probably junk a land. And let's junk the third one of those to just go and make my numbers work out. It's possible the first giver is better than the second, like, Tomic or something like that. But I, I do just need some things to, sir, to turn sideways and close out the game. I think this is a fine seven-card hand if my opponent doesn't just go ham turn one. Like, I, I get Thalia to slow them down, Wasteland to slow them down, Swords of Plowshares to answer a creature that hits play, and Charming Prince to scry me towards a rest in peace or something that might actually finish off this game. The Chancellor is a bit rough. I think I'm going to be throwing away my Aether Vial to that. Uh, this both bluffs Surgical Extraction and actually allows me to play Thalia on turn two if my opponent doesn't Thought Seize me. So now if they have Entomb plus exactly Reanimate, I'm greatly inconvenienced. should say land plus reanimate. Uh, which they do not. So I know that they don't have a land. If I port them down, there's no way that they can dump something into play, but do I need to actually just scry towards something that can win me the game? Two, two points of pressure is not enough. This is a risk. I bottom both of those. Man, that calculated risk looks real hot right about now. I think that was an early concession from my opponent. Like, I'm super favored at that point, but the game is not over. Snap, keep, just about the best possible hand that I could ask for. 
Please don't go off on turn one. So we have this Chancellor to worry about, which means that I can't necessarily just like jam something next turn. Oh, this is a terrible spot to put me in. Because I could fire off the Swords of Plowshares in response to clear the Chancellor trigger. Not going to do that. Because I think my opponent is going to take the Swords of Plowshares. Yep. My opponent will probably discard their Chancellor, yeah. The Wastelanding them is not a good prospect to actually win this game. I also need to clear the Chancellor trigger this turn, because my opponent will presumably reanimate this. So I need to clear the way so that I can actually cast something that matters. Like this allows me to still cast a two drop. Scrubland, you say. Really don't know how I feel about going to two there. Uh, without knowing the contents of the rest of my opponent's hand. But they seemed pretty, pretty far ahead already. I wonder if my opponent's map included this Thalia. I also don't think you removed that. I think you let me flounder behind my own Thalia. Well... I'm in bad shape, but not technically dead. Best case scenario involves my opponent drawing seven cards, not being able to produce a body that can block Mirroring Crusader, and then I draw like a path to exile, get the Magus out of the way, and kill my opponent. Uh, however, that did not occur. GG, I have died. Rough start. Let's see if we can actually win any this week. I'll be back tomorrow.